Welcome back to another episode of Monday Matches where we put two companies against each other to see which is a better investment for me. And today we're going to take a look at two streaming giants, Netflix versus Spotify. And on today's episode, like always, we're going to take a look at a lot of fundamental information to help me make my decision. So if you are new to the channel, if you're a long-term investor, and if you like to learn about growth stocks, make sure to hit that subscribe button. To all my returning viewers, thank you so much for the support. It truly means a lot. Like always, if you ever want to get in contact with me, YouTube comments, Twitter, you can find me on Twitch. You can find me on my free Discord channel. You can find me at josenaharo.com. Remember, everything that I say here is just my opinions. It's by no means any advice because I am not a professional. So make sure to talk to a financial advisor before making any financial decisions. Now that we got that out the way, let's get started. Like I mentioned, in today's episode, we are going to take a look at Netflix versus Spotify. And these are the points we're going to look at for today's episode. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up. It helps the small channel out so much. And let me know in the comments right now, guys, who do you think is going to win, Netflix or Spotify? Next, if you want to get a free stock, make sure to click that Weeball link and follow the instructions there. Finally, make sure to join my Discord channel. It's free to anybody that wants to join and will also be on the pinned comment and on the description. Okay, so first, let's take a look at revenue breakdown. Let's see where that money for both these companies are coming from. And the best place to check that out is either the most recent earnings report or take a look at their annual report. So on Netflix, most recent earnings report, they collected a revenue of about $6.15 billion. And if we all know, Netflix only gets their revenue from one segment, and that's the subscription that they charge their viewers. Um, so that's the only segment that comes from the revenue for Netflix. All right, next, let's take a look at Spotify's revenue breakdown. For this most recent quarter, they made about $1.6 billion of total revenue in euros. That that That's roughly $1.9 billion United States dollar. Um, so we can see they are in different leagues when we take a look at revenue breakdown. So total revenues for Spotify, they have a little bit uh, a little different on their revenue breakdown. Most of their revenue does come from premium, which is about 1.5 billion euro, uh, 1.5 billion euros out of that 1.6, 1.67 that they make, and that's their subscription services. Then they have about 165 million, so a very small amount comes from ad supported. So this is from their free users that get ads on their services. Um, so right now for revenue breakdown, I'm going to have to give it to Spotify because they collect their revenue from more than one segment. But it's good to note that both of them make most of their money from subscribers. And we saw that from Spotify as well. But it's that they have that other segment there. That's um, the reason I'm giving this point. Next, let's take a look at future growth for Netflix and Spotify. All right, so next, let's take a look at future growth for Netflix. Netflix for the next three years is expected to grow its revenue on average of 15.0%. That to me is actually a pretty strong grower. Most people say anything growing over 15% annually on average it is a great strong, it's a great growth. Anything growing over 20% is a strong grower um, and, and so on and so forth. So 15% is not bad. Now, if we take a look at Spotify, Spotify right now is growing at 17.2% annually on average for the next three years. So it's expected to grow a little bit faster than Netflix. Again, not by much. And right now we did see that Spotify does have um, a little bit less, a lot less revenues than Netflix. So you would expect it to be growing a little bit faster percentage wise, but still we're going to have to give that point to Spotify. Next, what I want to take a look at is revenue growth. And this revenue growth should actually be more historical growth on revenue. So let's take a look at the past revenue growth in the past three years for Netflix. Netflix in 2019 grew 27% compared to the year before. In 2018, it grew 35% compared to the year before. And in 2017, it grew 32.4%. So that's actually pretty impressive. On average, in the past three years, it has grown over 30% annually. That's some strong returns for, for a company this big already. Now, if we take a look at Spotify, Spotify in 2019 grew 25.73. In 2018, it grew 23.11. And in 2017, it had a really good year at 58.01. But if we kind of take away this 2017 year, which kind of seems like a like this a, a random event in that time span, it seems like the average tends to be in the mid 
25% in the past three years. So here we can see that revenue for Netflix has actually grown a lot more, uh, a lot higher in uh, in the average, in, a, in like an average range throughout the past three years. So for here, I'm going to have to give it to Netflix. And right, it is true that if we look at the average of this 58% cent that Spotify gave on 2017, it would make the overall average better. But we can see in the past two years for Spotify, it has been mid 25%. So that to me tells me that maybe this year might have been just a really great year for them. But the average does seem to be somewhere in the mid 25%. And that's the reason I end up giving that point to to Netflix. The next point we're going to take a look at is margins and here we're trying to see which one of them is improving their margins and which ones have better margins so we're looking at, at two things so let's start off with margins of netflix first thing we can see is netflix their gross margins throughout the years are improving in 2017 they were 31.3 in 2019 they were 38.3 percent. so that's good we're seeing a growth in gross margins now we're taking a look at profit margins Profit margins are also improving. So the, another thing we see is Netflix is profitable. Um, in this most recent year, they had 9.3% of, of, of profitability. Um, and compared to 2017, they were 4.8%. So they're seeing improvements in both profit margins and gross margins, and they are profitable. Now let's take a look at Spotify's margins. Spotify, we're seeing an improve in gross margins as well. Gross margins for Spotify are 20.8% in 2017. 25.7 in 2018 and 25.5 in 2019 so it does seem like it's capping up at about 25 percentage um, we can see their gross margins are a bit lower than gross margins for netflix netflix has a gross margins of higher 30s while spotify has gross margins of 25.5 percent of mid 20s but we can see there is some form of improvement we're also seeing an improvement on gross on profit margins. Back then, the company had negative profit margins of negative point thirty point two percent. Now it has negative point negative two point seven percent on profit margins. So we can see Spotify is not profitable right now. But one thing is they are improving both their margins. Um, but from here, Netflix is actually seeing both an improvement on margins still. And they're also profitable. So I'm going to have to give another point to Netflix on margin. If I would have seen a better improvement in, in the margins here, I actually might have given a point to both of them. But I think Netflix margins rates are, are better just because they are both improving and they are profitable already. Next, we're going to take a look at cash flow margins. And cash flow margins is, is very important. It really shows us how a company is able to survive throughout the years. So let's start off with Netflix. Netflix, I'm not liking this operating cash flow margins. We can see as revenue is increasing for the company, their net cash flow from operations is actually decreasing by a lot. They have net cash flow of operations of negative $2.9 billion. So they're burning about $2.9 billion a year and you might be wondering how is this possible right now what's end up happening is netflix is netflix is paying it is paying for a lot of these studios and a lot of these items that in the short term of things can be seen as an asset but they're paying those assets with that cash and giving it a negative net cash flow from operations so even though netflix is profitable right now this is such a crazy thing right even though netflix is profitable if we take a look at margins they're actually burning cash right now this company is burning a lot of cash operating cash flow margins are actually negative 14 percent free cash flow margins are pretty much in similar levels seeing negative 15.58 percent and we can see there it is definitely at a downtrend now let's take a look at Spotify's cash flow margins. Net cash flow from operations are actually going up as revenue is going up. And this is something you should expect to see, except in the form of Netflix right now. They're just being very aggressive with trying to, to grab as much content as they can that they're burning cash at the moment. Spotify, it seems like they're doing it a little bit smarter right now historically, but we have seen this year being a big year for Spotify where they're doing a lot of a lot of deals with different companies a lot of exclusivity so maybe in, in the upcoming years it could kind of see that similar trend with that next cash flow operations like netflix has where as revenue starts to jump up dramatically 
we might see that net cash flow from operations decrease a bit but right now that's not the case operating cash flow margins are 8.47 percent and free cash flow margins on the most recent year were 6.48 percent remember this is for their most recent year full fiscal year of 2019 um so right here on cash flow margins i'm actually gonna have to give it to spotify Next thing we want to take a look at is balance sheet. And for the balance sheet right now, I am going to be a little bit more strict on Spotify because Spotify is not making any money compared to Netflix. Actually, I shouldn't be that strict because cash flow um, right now, Netflix has negative cash flow. It's burning cash flow. So I'm actually going to be very equally, very equally weighted on, on their balance sheet. So cash and short-term investments for Netflix right now sitting at about $7.2 billion. Debt for Netflix is sitting at $15.8 billion. This doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing that this company has less cash than debt because this debt can actually be owed in such a long time from now, from now but we're just using it as a metric kind of thing. So now if we take a look at Spotify, Spotify has a cash and short-term investments of about 1.7 billion euros, and it actually has no debt. And for this alone, we're gonna have I'm gonna have to give a patch the, the point on balance sheet to Spotify here. Um Spotify is actually taking a huge lead right now. Um and unfortunately I, I honestly did not think this was gonna happen. I thought Netflix was gonna end up beating on Spotify as of the points right now. Next, let's take a look at valuations. So in valuations, we're going to take a look at price to sales ratio. And I'm going to mention what are some of the good things that we, we can look at using this valuations and why it's not really the best way to go on this valuation. Maybe not the best way, but try to understand why there is a difference between the valuations. So forward price to sales ratio for Netflix right now is 7.6. Netflix um forward cash flow um forward price to sales ratio for Spotify is 3.96. So right now Spotify seems to be better valued than Netflix. But why are why is Netflix a little more expensive than Spotify? And that has to do with a lot of the other information that we previously looked at. The first thing is Netflix right now in form of gap margins it is profitable and the gross margins are a little bit are probably like 1.5 times higher than net than spotify so investors see that it's profit it is profitable it's improving their margins and their gross margins are higher than spotify that's one reason investors are willing to pay a bit more valuation right now for netflix what are some other reasons to me there's no really other reason out there to be paying that high value uh, a higher valuation on, on netflix compared to spotify um, besides that reason for spotify we did see we have a better balance sheet even though they are like we mentioned the margins are not the greatest thing but they do have a better balance sheet and they also have very similar growth right now another thing is netflix right now is a bigger beast if we take a look at revenue estimates for 2021 it's about 29.1 billion dollars for Spotify is uh 11.3 so a little bit a little bit less than two times as much as the revenue that Netflix collects so we can see these are different beasts but based on that valuation I'm still gonna have to give it here on Spotify um and let me just say this just because Spotify is gonna win from here on you can tell there's no way Netflix can change doesn't mean that Netflix is a bad investment um that's not what this this video is meant to show it's not to show that netflix should be the one i'm gonna go short out the much um it's not the one that i'm gonna go short out right after this video no both of these can actually be great investments it's just to see if i was to choose one which one would i like and it also helps out throughout the process seeing what are some of the metrics that i take a look at when looking at a company so it's, it's definitely uh, both a very informative video for educational purpose to teach others how to look or what type of metrics to look at but it's also a way to say hey if i only wanted to invest in one company which one would it be all right so now my thoughts i do believe that both these companies are, are gonna continue to go netflix is definitely a true monster right now in the video streaming um in the video streaming device right they have so many exclusives and they're being very very strong Strong and very aggressive and continuing to grow and that's why we're seeing that cash flow operating cash flow margins at a negative right now 
because they're trying to be as, as aggressive as they can. And it's not a bad thing. Right now, with rates being so low, I do believe it's understandable for them to be aggressive. Netflix also has such a huge number of members that I believe that if they decide to try something new or move or innovate their overall system, it, it's such it's in a great place already to do so um, and to bring new markets if they want to. So I do believe Netflix having that huge huge customer base right now is such a great thing um right now the own i don't see much risk minus valuations and i do think for both these companies valuations is one of the biggest risk with COVID 19 and everybody staying home it has driven some of these stock prices a bit up um for spotify uh netflix again has very a lot of a lot of competitors as well within the market from Amazon, Apple TV, and, and so many of Disney Plus, the same could be said about Spotify. Spotify has a lot of a lot of um a lot of competitors entering now with Amazon Music and Apple Music as well. Um, but if Netflix is able to survive this process of fighting these top dogs, why is it that just by having Amazon and, and Apple entering this market is an automatic lose? For Spotify, and I don't believe it is. And Spotify is very, I do believe the strength within these streaming services is the exclusive content that they provide. And that's why Spotify right now is being very, very aggressive with getting as many deals and as many exclusive items as they can, which is going to drive people to go to their services. To me, right now, I personally am a little more bullish in the audio world compared to the video streaming world. So for my reasons, my thoughts, I'm going to have to give it to Spotify. Um, but we can see my thoughts are only one point out of all these that were actual metric number uses. So my thoughts has, have very, very little to do to these, um, to these episodes. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Like always, make sure to subscribe and let me know, did you guys think Spotify was going to win or did you guys think Netflix was going to win? Were you guys surprised with, with how far the actual point system was? I, I, I'm personally, I, I personally am surprised. I thought Netflix was going to be a lot closer. But again, this does not mean that Netflix is a bad investment. I'm not saying um, I'm a bear on Netflix. Nowhere near. I'm just saying if I had only one investment to choose right now, I would choose Spotify just because of all these metrics that we looked at. So take care, guys. Have a good night and see you next time.